wife, please. I just received an email from the Director General. The decision is made by the Executive Council and the request of Aluvia uh, to conduct uh, on-site inspection in uh, Meridia is approved. The OSI is greenlit and all systems are go. The teams have spent the last two days working intensively but there are still significant challenges to overcome. There's a lot of equipment that needs to be uh, confirmed. There's a lot of uh, shipping documents and, and, and clearance of, of customs and all that that needs to be done. They have a deadline of 1700 hours to complete their initial inspection plan which needs to be submitted at the point of entry to the inspected state party representative. Every on-site inspection is unique and it must be developed specially. There are no shortcuts. In the last two days we've been planning our um, uh, missions. I've been taking charge of the uh, initial overflight. You've got significant um, relief in that particular area. You're talking from uh, the Dead Sea at 400 metres below sea level to in excess of 1,000 metres above sea level within the same, within the inspection area. Ideally, we want to fly the, um, an aircraft at a constant distance to the ground. So when you're dealing with topography, that's quite a lot of effort for the pilot then to, to um, ascend and descend with topography. And uh, that's challenging for the pilot uh, and for the, for the aircraft as well. The various teams finalise their plans and the whole inspection team has its final meeting before the CTBTO's Director General is briefed and signs the inspection mandate which is then handed over to the inspection team leader. Tomorrow we're actually hopping on the plane and, and landing in the, in the country that we're going to be inspecting and we're going to be met by the inspected state party. The inspected state party is about to come under major scrutiny. Will they be cooperative? That's too early to say. We had a number of exchanges following the on-site inspection request. Uh, we received information. We uh, received um, indications of what support they could provide, but um, there's many questions open. And we'll have to see uh, what's expecting us at the point of entry tomorrow. So that's it. The inspection team are going in. They fly to Meridia tomorrow to arrive at the point of entry. What sort of welcome are they going to receive, though? Come back tomorrow to find out.